Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we learn how to upload photos in MySQL. You can upload photos in MySQL in three ways. Import from the local file from your PC, import from the web or store the photo directly in MySQL. So let's see. First let's make a new file called images.ags here we will we'll make three forms but first let's make an h1 with import photos and the link to skeleton you can get it here click copy link tag and paste it here so we make three forms first one import from computer PC it's a form with an action in photo PC and the post method and we want to create a new product but this time we will have a photo so we have an input of type text placeholder product and name of product another one with placeholder of price and name of price and the last one an input with a placeholder for location of the photo and name will be product id image and of course the button to submit it add the product with photo class let's make it button button primary and of course we need to get it import images app.get uh, photos the request and respond as the render let's say add photo images.hs Let's see. Uh, of course, we need to run it. NPM run dev. We are connected to MySQL and reload and add photos. Import photos, import from PC, product price, location of the photo, and add product with the photo. action will be on backslash photo pc another h2 let's make it h3 h4 h4 import from the web and let's copy this because it's the same thing photo web location and change location to URL add the product with the photo yeah let's see 
and that uh, yeah that's good we need one more to add photo direct to database we will leave this for later but now let's focus on these two first let's just uh, change the type with file and we don't need a placeholder anymore yeah so let's focus on this import from PC we go to app.js and let's make the post request for importing from the PC photo PC with the request and the response and what we need we need the image we need the image with the request that body and the name was product image but we need a name which will be like that body dot product right yeah product and price and the price will be request that body that price now let's make the insert query insert into product let's call it product v2 and let's create it yeah go to mysql workbench and and let's create the table create table product v2 id auto increment price what we need image image path let's say image path and image here so in image path we will get the location from the pc or the url from the web and in image here we have the image stored here so if you want to store the image in path we will uh, assign this a new variable and if you want to save the image directly in the database we will set the image path to null this is why we don't set uh, image path to be not null because we want them one of them to be null in the end and we need a type of course uh, this will be the te a text type and this one will be a long text because we'll have a long string of characters which will be the image so let's see let's create it refresh tables yeah and let's select from product v2 we don't have anything yet insert into product v2 what we need to insert a value of null and we need the name the price and the image path for the photo from the pc and this one from the image text from the image here we will set it to null let's make the connection db.query it q uh, first is the name yeah name price and image we have an error rows and fields of course we throw the error if we have one and let's redirect to a page called products where we will see all the products in the product v2 
actually not this product we need another file for products v2 so we say products v2 not ages and uh, I need the link from skeleton as well let's make an h1 all the products with images yeah mm, let's put a break and let's make a new L here we send the rows as product rows because we need all the products in products v2 so we iterate through every product products dot for each and of course we need to close this and let's console log the product image image path and image here and this is image here so what we need to do now is to make an if stat statement and if we have the image path we do something and if you have the image here we do another thing so we make an if if product that image here so if we have the image in the database is null that means if we don't have the image in the database <laughs> what we will do we make a lie and we'll have the product the product name with the price of yeah and the photo and let's put the photo here let's make an image we don't need this and uh, let's say directly product dot image text we'll have the images in a public folder make a new folder images and let's add an image here I add the rows and let's see we'll make the else later first we need to check if uh, the photos from the PC and from the web works yeah i think everything is fine and let's test this one product let's say one two three and price one two three file location yeah this one but we need uh, the rows 100 kilobytes add the photo and something is wrong product oh we need to get the products v2 here let's rename it to v2 
Oh no, let's say products. With the request and the response. Let's do a render. The products v2 dot ajs but we can't render it like that because we don't have the products we need to make a query to get the products so let's make the query select from product v2 Come on. If we have an error, we throw it. And let's render it now. Product V2 AJS. And we send the rows as products. Again. Let's see now. Will it work? Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, but with one hundred kilobytes. So I managed to fix the problem. I had it this here. Let's run it. And now, if we go to products page, we should have the product. But we don't have it because we have here text and we need path. And now we have uh, the name with the price of. We need equal here with the price of and the photo. Yeah, I added twice. Let's add it again something 3383. Three, three, three. The same photo had the product, and we have the photo added from the local files. And now let's import something from the web. When doing when importing from the web, we do the same thing. We don't need to change anything in here. Uh, I make the same post, but we need a different name. Photo web. We have the image, the name and the price. We insert into the product. Exactly like this. Yeah. Redirect to product. Okay. So... Let's go to images. I have the product image. All good. And let's test it. You can import photo from here. IMG BB. I added, I added this photo. Upload. And all I need is the source of the image, which is this one. Yeah. Uh, code let's call it code the price of one and add the product and I have the code added from the uh, web page and if I look in my SQL around the query I have image 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 and the HTTP 